Hello and welcome to Romanceful Tarot. This is going to be a, a reading that I'm going to perform here for um, the Gemini. So it's a monthly reading for Gemini. It's going to be an overall reading. It's going to touch all aspects of your life. Um, right before I do begin, I do want to mention that uh, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with um, everybody who is viewing this video. If this does not uh, sound like your story, please do check your moon and rising signs. Perhaps your message is there. If not, uh, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. If you want to... Um, uh, to have um, notification when I do put out these new videos because I do put weeklies and I put monthlies and I do put different topics up every week. You can subscribe to my channel and you will uh, receive these without having to do any research. Um, that being said, if you do enjoy my, um, my channel, you enjoy my readings, uh, you can show your support by liking my channel and subscribing to my channel. So let's begin with Gemini, general reading for the month of June 2020. We're going to start by reversing these two cards here. I have a nine card spread that is out. So we have here the Empress and we have Justice. Very strong, powerful people. Okay, so let's begin here. This is all about you, Empress. Uh, she is all about love. She is about marriage. She is about motherhood. Um, the Empress is uh, any, everything, I would say, uh, that is lovely. Fertility, prosperity, uh, you're creative, um, you're productive. Um, this could mean perhaps uh, in the cards here, maybe, I don't know if you're trying to, uh, to conceive, it could mean a pregnancy. Um, for, something has to do with fertility here, okay? There's... Um, there's many, many abundances. You're not missing of anything. Um, there's You're very comfortable. You're happy. Things right now are pleasurable. You have success. And so you're enjoying it. So, you know, this is a great place that you're in right now. We're going to continue this over with the Justice card. The Justice is the, your theme of the month. Uh, when the card of Justice comes up, this is all about reason. It's about logic. Um, it's about fairness and about balance. So you're going to have to try and you're going to be receiving messages. You're going to be receiving different kinds of information and notifications. And um, you're going to have to try and balance all this. You're going to have to see what is fair, what is fair to do. Um, in this world, uh, everything seems pretty much, I would say, uh, like polarized, and um, you're called to find a balance between these two extremes during the following month of June. So uh, let's not forget here, uh, you do have the power, but it is a double-edged sword. So, you know, fairness does cut both ways. So you have to be careful with the scales of justice. You've got to balance them correctly. This is your theme of the month so balancing your life in all its aspects we're going to move over here okay we have the seven of cups in a reverse position we have the six of cups and over here we have oh my gosh it's raining it's pouring they're running away we have the ten of cups we're going to begin over here with the Seven of Cups. He's looking like the hangman, but he's really the Seven of Cups. Um, so what's going on here with the Seven of Cups is you have, um, you're going to receive some kind of um, illusion. An illusion of success is going to be happening to you. Uh, be careful for what you wish for. Uh, this is a card full of dreams, hopes, um, and fears. This is why you're, you're hiding your eyes. There are things you do not want to see. Um, uh, illusions, you're trying to hide yourself from them. Um, but this young man here, he's just waiting for these seven cups to reveal their great secrets on these gray clouds back there. Um, you will notice that... Um, yeah, I'm going to just move on up over here like this here. Um, 
one hand, um, there's there's empty cups and nothing's been promised here for you. And the other hand is full of possibilities. So, you know, the sky is your limit. But once again, one being full of possibilities, the other one being um, more empty, nothing is promised. Once again, we're going back to our justice. We're going back to our card of balancing your life. This is a theme that you're going to have throughout the um, throughout the whole reading. We're going to move on. Oh, this was um, upside down in reverse position. Uh, here we're preparing for a celebration. So we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a card of pleasure. There's nothing sad about this card. Everything is good. I even have to say on a completely different note that I feel there's going to be some kind of inheritance coming to you uh, during this month of June. There is going to be um, tradition that's going to be brought through. Um, there's white blossoms that represent sweetness, the beauty of the life. Um, you know, home is where the heart is. This is all about the simple pleasures. It's about happy memories. Enjoy. This is very nice. And then we have, um, we have over here, the rain. My gosh, the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is um, is all about uh, marriage. He's about children, home, family, peace, joy, love. The whole family. They're all gathered together. Yes, it is pouring. Yes, the clouds are way behind. But even though it is pouring, they are all gathered together. They are running together. They are staying together. This is a card about being to. Together. Um, this is um, something unexpected might just struck. You see, they, they weren't expecting this. They were probably out having a picnic or something, having a great time together. And there you go, clouds came. Something is going to come unexpectedly. I'm sorry. And um, and um, it's it's not going to stop you. You're just going to keep on going. You're going to move on forward. You're going to get out of this storm. We're going to move on over here. You are crowning. You are winning. You are victorious. We have the Six of Wands. Uh, Six of Wands is all about respect. You have a uh, you know, uh, surmounted many challenges. You've uh, done. Uh, you've had many goals um, accomplished. You have respect from people around you. You have admiration. You have gratitude. You have triumph, success, validation. Uh, just everything. Everything is just all good here. You have earned um, victory. Enjoy it. Moving over to the Ace of Pentacles, here you are embracing. It's almost like you're embracing the world. The um, uh, you're embracing this hand is coming out of the cloud. You're not to you're you're um, you're working together on this. You have um, with these Ace of Pentacles, they are new beginnings. It does mean once again there could be some fertility, like we had over here at the beginning with our uh, the Empress. If you are trying to conceive, um, also we have. Um, we have wealth, we have perfection, we have a contentment, joy, we have financial rewards, we have prosperity here. We are holding this um, <clears throat> this pentacle. Um, pentacles, of course, um, meaning anything that is earthly, material existence, assets, um, this is all this is all what you have this is what you've gathered this is what you have and there's going to be a um there's going to be down the path you still have a little bit of path to go a little bit of way to go and if you see in the clearing down there you have a beautiful set a beautiful garden there's red there's passion there's love there's family there's a gathering down there and they're waiting for you to have uh, with this sense of community and family it's a moment of joyness of celebration but before or getting to the celebration you're going to have to surmount a couple of little mountains but you're able to do that you have the strength you have the power and you have everybody around you to help you moving on over here you are moving you are moving forward um, so here we have um, 
this card I would have to say uh, you're just with the ten of swords uh, you're suffering there is I feel there's a little bit of pain perhaps a, a little bit a, of uh, grief um, there's been uh, some backstabbing there's been personal attacks on you, perhaps because of all of the success that you've had. I mean, your reading has just been perfect all the way up to here. This is just coming. Maybe perhaps this is what just struck you over here with the rain. I told you something unexpected was going to come, but you were going to stay together. You're going to get through it. Um, perhaps this is what it is. This is the backstabbing. Somebody is attacking you. They're trying to ruin you. They're trying to defeat you. Uh, they're, they're saying lies about you. Um, uh, so, you know, um, just keep on going, uh, keep going forward. This is what you're doing. Face your fears, face the person that is saying lies about you and you'll, ju you'll be just fine. Moving over here, we're going to have a card in reverse and we have the eight of wands. The Eight of Wands is telling us there is some miscommunication, perhaps some misinterpretation, delays or maybe even some disruptions. Um, I feel as though you're about to um, receive some news and some information. You, uh, you might need to be answering some questions or making some decisions. Pay attention so you can um, clear so you can give a nice clear um, response with uh, viable solutions. This card is all about mixed messages and once again you know we have here some mixed messages we have somebody who is backstabbing who is saying lies we have this downfall, this pouring, this rain coming down, but we also have new beginnings and embracing and we have so much success, we have so much uh, force, we, uh, we are able to go through it, we're able to get down to this path. This card here is a warning, so this is the card of advice. You need to be careful, you need to, um, because there's going to be some misunderstandings over here. So let's finish this Finish this up with uh, our mermaid oracle, which is a certain slant of light. So she is telling us she is all about um, illumination. So illumination is coming, which is just fantastic because we've had a little bit of a rough period here at the end. So your illumination is coming. Uh, darkness and confusion are a common place in this world. It, it happens to everybody. Everybody has worries. Everybody has somebody that has lied to them. Uh, we all have our ups. We all have our downs. What's important here is that you are strong. You are able to uh, shift these thinkings. You're able to, um, to put these things aside. Keep your eyes open. Keep your spirit curious. So you do not miss out on important uh, hints in your in your life on this path in June 2020, and remember that no matter what happens, you have this beautiful light here that is shining through, and that's going to pierce through and make everything just okay during the month of 2020 for you, Gemini. So I do wish that you uh, enjoyed this monthly reading. Hopefully it brought you some clarifications um, about what is coming up during this following month. Uh, if you have enjoyed my video, please show your support by subscribing, by liking the videos. If you would like to have a personal reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com, you can reach me and you have that information on the Dropbox on YouTube at the end of this video. Many, many, many blessings to all of you. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you for your support. Thank you for listening to my messages. Many blessings. Have a great day. See you next week for your weeklies.